So let's dive right in. What do you see as the most promising video surveillance opportunity for integrators today? I see the merger of video and access control technologies as the most promising opportunity today. Why? Because buildings are filled with multiple and very different types of sensors. So when you can pull all these sensors together and all the data from these sensors, you can create a smart building. And I believe that video and access control centers are at the heart of this. While it can sound quite daunting and a major undertaking for a lot of people today, I do believe that we in the security arena are able to create not just a connected, but a fully integrated platform. One that can complement each other and is at the heart of smart buildings. Creating this smart environment is achieved through artificial intelligence and deep learning, such as facial recognition, where you use the camera as the reader for access control, delivering free movement of people through a building, through places and spaces. So what do you see as keys for their success in that area or some of those areas? The key for integrated success, as I see it, is to become multidisciplined. And I know many of the integrators are today, but not all. And it's to become experts in not just video and access control solutions, but also in artificial intelligence and deep learning. Because while all, all these applications will require smart solutions, it's a growing trend. And it's going to be put into buildings and places and spaces to make them more um, effective, efficient, and ecologically friendly. It's not just about security. It's everything else about this building becomes really important. And it is the artificial intelligence and deep learning technologies, and especially, I believe, the optical sensor, the IP camera as we know it today, is at the forefront of this. And so what should they look for in a vendor partner to give them the edge that they need? I believe the SI should primarily look for help, guidance, and support from their vendors to help them understand the new technologies, to guide them through how they work in harmony and to support them not only in installing and using it, but I think more importantly, how to sell and promote it. Because a lot of end customers don't understand the benefits. They don't get what AI and deep learning is about. So this education part is really important for us as the vendor to um, give over to the system integrators. And the system integrator also wants somebody who will not only be there today, they want somebody there with them for the future, ones that will not leave them behind. So we can work with them together in our journey forward to the future. Mm -hmm. Peter, would you care to highlight a new video surveillance development or offering from Johnson Controls? As I mentioned in my first part, one of the great aspects for a future uh, video surveillance development is all about this merging of video and access technologies. I'm really passionate about this because I see the need in applications and use cases for the future. Specifically, we have a product we're developing called Insight, and it's a frictionless access control sensor or a camera. And it's where we're harmonizing both technologies together using our smart vision technologies. And a great example is this. The camera will pick up multiple and recognize multiple faces in under one second, We're using dual lens for liveliness and 3D technology. So basically, if someone comes up with a photograph of my face, sorry, guys, it, we know it's a 2D. We know it's not moving. It's not real. You're not getting it. Um, and it doesn't stop there. The inside camera has two-way audio. It allows for an intercom connectivity between either predetermined messages to say, good morning, Peter, welcome or through to a digital guard that says, you know, Scott, you'd like to come meet me at reception. It's, it can be live, it's great. And also on the back of this, um, if you look at it for visitors, a visitor that doesn't have their face enrolled, we can use QR codes, we can use other technologies. So we can email you this QR code, it turns out and goes, oh, good morning, Scott, in you come. Um, or if you try to go through a door, it says, Scott, you're not allowed. Um, and we can work through different credentials there. But to me, the great thing about this Insight camera and the deep learning algorithms we can produce today and use today, it's only the start because you can build in more and more of these applications in the back end. So what you have to the front end, you leave. You just add more and more. Things like re-identification, 
things like classification, things like facial reduction and behavioral analysis. And I'll just go on a couple of these. Facial reduction becomes very important for privacy. There's a lot of people a bit worried about, you've got my face, I don't want my face shown across the world, blah, blah, blah. Understand it. So we're able to take your face. We say we can find five faces. We're not interested in those. We're going to blank them out, redact them. So when the, the images are moved somewhere else, nobody can see who is behind that. So your identity is secure and safe.